time has come after me dropping a couple of hints for me to announce what I'm doing this year for my challenge for combat stress. This little beast is going to be accompanying me on a trip around the entire coast of mainland UK. That is 3,500 miles on 125cc of snarling death. The equivalent of driving from Newport Isle of Wight to the centre of Russia. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt a lot. This is where you lot come in, because I'm going to need help. I've set up a Facebook group called Tiny Bike Tour. On there, there's going to be daily updates. I'm going to keep you up to date with where I am, where I'm going. Come and meet me on route if you've got a motorbike. Come and join me for a bit. Throw apples at me. Not apples, they're hard. Or coconuts. Go for tomatoes. <coughs> Let me tell you a little bit about the bike. She is a Chinese copy of a Honda Chally clone. As I said before, 125cc, 10 inch wheels, doesn't necessarily want to keep me on the bike at speed. Top speed I've had out of her is 60 miles an hour. That was with a tailwind, crouched up like a mungo. I'm gonna be getting 50 tops, let's face it. I've booked in 17 to 22 days to do it. Should take me 12 if I manage to do my 300 miles a day. I'm gonna crash. The thing's gonna break down. I've allowed a little bit extra. Now the Facebook group I've set up is exactly for that, for me to put in the daily updates, for me to ask for help, for me to keep you updated on where I'm going, how it's going, etc, etc. If you know anyone that likes mopeds, likes seeing fat people in pain, is an ex-serviceman, share this Facebook group far and wide. All of my other uh, challenges I've done for combat stress, I generally earn, give or take, £2,000 for charity. I would absolutely love to earn enough to get a bazooka to stop cars driving up behind me when I'm trying to film. I am trying to raise £10,000 for charity this year, purely because the size of the uh, task in hand, I would like you guys to get the word out there. As you know with me, this has got absolutely nothing to do for sub-generation, which is why I've started the Facebook group. Um, obviously, there will be daily vlogs, or maybe not daily, maybe every three day vlogs coming out on my YouTube channel as I do it, attached to the bike. You'll see the best and the worst because I'm no good at the acting shite. This bike was bought originally, a little bit of a sob story here. For me to go out with my father who was looking after my mum who had Alzheimer's, he bought a little scooter, wanted to go out with his son, have a little bit of a breather. We went out for one ride and the old prick died. So this has been sitting in my shed now for four years. I've got her up and running. Look at her. She's pretty much completely stock. A gentleman from work welded me on some uh, fuel carrier. Fuel carrier? Is that right? Welded me on some uh, jerry can holders. Also a backrest and a bigger luggage rack for me as well. I do intend to wild camp as much as I can all the way around this. But as you can appreciate, trying to wild camp with a motorbike might be a bit tricky. Again where you come in with a Facebook group. I may need a garden. I may need someone to come and scrape my twitching body off the road. Get on there. You can message me. You can follow me on Instagram. Yeah. I'll need your help. Um, pub beer gardens, hopefully pub beer gardens. What do you want to know about her? She is what she is. 300 mile a day, hopefully. I think that might hurt my hoop, but I come prepared, look. Got myself an inflatable seat. Now, a lovely young lady from work put a lot of time in working on my helmet. As you can see, combat stress got me name, and if you do see me en route, you can even take a picture of me helmet and donate direct to the charity. Veterans Mental Health, as it is every year. You saw the pain I went through with um, the coast to coast walk, busting my ribs up on the King Alfred's Way. And that was on a push bike, doing a fraction of the speed this is gonna do. What could possibly go wrong? Tiny Bike Tour, have a look down below, share far and wide. I'll give you a quick scan around the bike. I'll even put a little bit of footage of what it's like with me riding it, just so you know what you're gonna get into. Tiny bike tour, guys. It's a fat bloke that's gonna be in pain 
on a little bike, the most ridiculous vehicle you could possibly get for a long distance tour. And I love it. It's so much fun to bleed ride. So the next bit you see is probably gonna be me ringing the granny out of her, going uphill, downhill, through the woods, whatever. It's hard to take her mind that's been 
Oh,